everybody thanks for tuning in to pods and petals once again um, today we are going to go through another seed haul uh, this time it's from Baker Creek seeds uh, we got our heirloom seeds in and I'll show you kind of what the package looks like but we're gonna go through each one um, talk about them a little bit and share with you what we're planning on doing with them for this season so I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around so you can see uh, what we've got going on Okay, so here we have our um, little mailer that our seeds came in. Super cute. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has the picture on the front this year of Chinese pink celery. Um, and then when you open it up, the packaging is really impressive this year. This nice um, envelope, it says smile. You've got seeds. And then there's these two packs of seeds in there, uh, bundles, uh, and then here's the envelope that it came in. So super cute. Now Baker Creek um, does include free seed packets um, with when you order a certain amount, so we have two um, free packets here. I'll go through those a little bit. Um, we didn't order these, they came free with our uh, with our order. So the first one here is this uh, dado pepper um, and then we have a spoon tomato which look how small those are. I'm excited about this spoon tomato. I'm going to try to grow it in the arrow garden uh, which I'll do a video on that for sure also but um, being that it's so small I'm thinking that I can grow it in there um, rather than out in the garden. So if I do that this year, I'll take you guys with us for sure. Okay. Um, first thing we have, um, tomato-wise, is Blue Beauty. Um, if you've seen us down at the um, farmer's market uh, over the last couple of years, you know this is one of my very favorite tomatoes. Uh, it's a nice slicer, very sweet um, so we're definitely going to be doing more of those this year uh, to grow, um, to sell down at the market, and also we'll include those in our seedling sale as well. Then we also have the Chadwick Cherry, which we've done these, um, gosh, three or four years uh, in a row now. Um, they're a nice little uh, cherry tomato. Um, so same with the Blue Beauties. We will include those in our seedling sale and... Um, you know, have those down at market as well. This year for our orange uh, tomato, we decided to go with orange jazz. Um, if you can see in that picture there, um, they have this really pretty nice striping on the fruit. Um, and also they seem to be more disease resistant and a hardier plant in our area. So we're gonna try these um, this year and see how they do. Um, but this will be our only orange tomato for this year. Okay, and then we have, um, we did a couple of packs of Jack B. Littles. These are just mini pumpkins that we always like to do. Um, these will be um, down at market with us. Uh, hopefully last year we had, um, we had some issues with the squash, uh, squash beetles, take these out. So hopefully, um, I wanna start quite a few. So I got two packets of those. Uh, so hopefully we'll have those for the kids down at market this year. And then we did a few herbs, um, replenished some of our stock here. We did um, oregano. We're going to add some oregano to our gardens um, this year. And we'll also start a few for our seedling sale. And same with the parsley. We're going to add a few more plants to the garden this year. Um, and then we will... Um, also include that in our seedling sale. Um, this is just a basic uh, yellow um, zucchini. Uh, we do green and yellow zucchini down at market. What else do we have here? 
Um, we're going to try some cabbage this year. Um, we've had good luck with red cabbage in the past. Um, so we're going to try this early Jersey Wakefield um, green cabbage this spring, which we will probably start those seeds um, pretty soon. Um, because those prefer the cold weather, so those will go out pretty early, long before the last frost, so. And for cucumbers, um, from Baker Creek, we got our China Jade cucumbers. If you guys saw us down at market the last year, um, you probably seen these. They look funny. They're very long. Um, they're big. They just, they look goofy. They don't look like a normal cucumber, but they are so, so good. Um, and everyone I turned on to these just kept coming back, kept coming back. And uh, we were usually sold out within the first hour of these cucumbers. So we're going to uh, do quite a few more of those this year. And then the Mexican sour gherkins are the cucamelons. Um, these are, um, they grow on a vine like a cucumber. Uh, but they're kind of tart, like a lemon. Uh, they look like a watermelon, but they're a cucumber. <laughs> I don't know, you figure that one out. But they're a really good snack. Um, I'm always munching on them in the garden, so we're going to um, do a few more of those this year, probably mostly just for us to, be, to snack on in the summer. And then for flowers, we got uh, yarrow. I've never grown this before, but I'm going to try it. Um, I believe it is a perennial in our zone, uh, zone five. So we're going to try this for our cut flowers. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it yet, but because um, like I said, it does come back. So we've got to think this one through, but I'm going to try some yarrow. I just got a mix um, of colors. And then we're going to do, uh, for Cosmos this year, we're going to do Black Magic. Uh, we really like um, kind of the darker flowers, um, so I always like to get a few black varieties in there. Um, so yeah, we're going to try uh, Black Magic Cosmos. We'll probably include those in the um, seedling sale as well, and, and maybe some pots and baskets too. We'll see how they go. Um, this one says that is overpacked due to low germination rate so uh, in september it had a 40 percent germination rate which is very very low so it sounds like they put extra seeds in there for us so we'll have to see how that does but i'm glad that they oh yeah minimum four seeds see it says right there yeah that wouldn't be fun if you didn't get anything out of this so um so yeah we'll see how that goes but i'm glad they put that sticker on there to let us know so there it is there's our baker creek um seed haul for this year uh, we have quite a bit um, of seeds left in our stash so we didn't need everything this year we still have a few orders coming in um greg's got um some hot pepper seeds coming in, so he'll have to hop on here and tell you guys all about those. Those are not, um, for sure, not my area of expertise. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna um, definitely have some more coming in too. This this isn't all of it by any stretch. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you um, learned something from our uh, baker seed order. Um, as you can probably see, I don't know if you can see it, I do have my um, Pods and Petals merch on that is live on our website. So uh, I'll link the website um, in the description. So go check that out. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll be in touch as we have more seed orders coming in and we'll you know be sure to take you guys along with us. So thanks as always for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.